The strength I hold, I cannot claim all credit for. Every generation of strength pushes the next. There's a homage owed to those who inspired us. What's up, everybody? I'm Martins, decorated world's strongest man champion. And this is Roma, one of my best buddies and creative powerhouse behind the show. We like to travel around the world, doing what we love, adventuring, lifting big things, eating food, and shining a light on strength unknown. My dad taught me the basics of strength, bodybuilding, and instilled discipline. Old Haugen cultivated my strength in helping me master strongman events and competition preparation. But where did my spark and craving to be at the top of the world in this sport come from? The answer is here. We went to Riga to meet up with former defense minister, Olympic weightlifter, and strongman Popeye, Raimonds Bergmanis. Raimonds! This is a man notorious for being tough, a bit strange, and paving the way for explosive technique by being the first to press over 400 pounds in the log press. I have a two nicknames, is uh, Mr. Popeye, boop, boop. <laughs> and, and another nickname is Mr. Pyjama, because my, my shorts was very similar like a pyjama short, and this is Pyjama Man. <laughs> and, 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 and. Is it true that when you compete, sometimes you would go boop, boop, and then do a lift? Uh, yeah, because uh, I, gave you I did a, a lot of stupids uh, in my life, and, and this time was happened in uh, in Zambia. We spent uh, paint uh, anchors on my yeah. arm, and that was, was joke it, and I like it. That's an first time Latvia is going to the Summer Olympics as an independent nation. We got Raimonds Bergmanis holding a flag. Raimonds is known for. Uh, I guess weighing turtles every year at the zoo. This is Raimond's early years weightlifting. Uh, uh, yeah. That's you too? Yeah. Holy shit. I look like an ass from that, I guess. Mm -hmm. This one. This is uh, from Zambia, where I finished, yeah, in the fourth place. This is uh, Marius, Virastuk, and Zik Big Z. This is uh, when we show the <laughs> elbow scar. This is how the elbow injury happened in weightlifting. Oh, yeah. Yeah. With a population of around 2 million, struggles and wars and fighting for independence, it was hard to imagine my little country of Latvia making a mark on the world stage of strength. Yet time and time again, Raimond shook the ground and showed us what's possible. He stood on the podium as the third strongest man in the world, European silver medalist in weightlifting, broke the world record log press, and gave several other world strongest man champions a mark to beat in many events. Growing up, training with my dad, with the still quiet mindset of becoming the best in the world of strongman, there was an enormous summit of strength to reach, and that summit was none other than Judrunas Savitskas. Big Z. We're in Vilnius, capital of Lithuania. First time here. I'm really excited. I've only been to the countryside, Lithuania. And, uh, well, it's about time to explore the neighboring countries and uh, get to meet with Big Z. See what his training is like. All right, so a little update. We're in totally the wrong place. We're an hour, more than an hour away from Big Z's home. He sent us the address, but it took us to a totally, you know, to the capital, which is not where he's at. So I'm gonna rush over there, get the car, and pick you up because you got the camera. All right, here we go. Some mixed messages lost in translation, and here we are, needing to turn around and backtrack for another hour. Not only that, it was a man's birthday, and now we were rushing to make it on time to have a full day with him and to find him an appropriate birthday cake. Napoleon? Well, it's just, it's just not a full thing. It's, uh, I like Napoleon, but do you have a full cake? So the language is um, very close to Latvian. 
but older than that. Thing. It's uh, one of the, I think it's the oldest language, the Indo-European language. Don't quote me on that. I'm gonna have to do a fact check. All right, so we got Big Z and Napoleon cake for his birthday, mostly because I love Napoleon. I don't know what Big Z likes. Uh, I'm gonna enjoy it. With the cake out of the way, it was finally time to wish the Summit with Strength happy birthday. Through windy small town and beautiful country forest roads, we arrived at his tranquil lake house. In 200 meters, your destination will be on the right. I think. Hey, yes. Trying to find you. Okay. Big Z? Uh, seven years. How, uh, how many? How old? Uh, how? At what age? I am now 46, but in the evening will be 47. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was later today. Okay. So, <laughs> getting older. <laughs> yeah. But still, so strong. Are you, you're getting ready for, um, the Shaw Classic? I trying. I have one more month, four weeks. Yes. It's not easy to get shape. Uh, probably need more time, but I do my best. So yeah. See. This will be cool. I want to some see events. I think uh, I'm good shape. Try, leg, try to leg do. press. Good for you. Yeah, leg press should be. Yeah. How do you feel about the log press? Uh, must be okay. Yeah. Be log okay. press. Yo. Yo. Okay. We'll see. Maybe. Uh, Dumbbell, because my elbow is the, uh, the weakest yeah, event at this moment. But I got you. I had just two kind of fifty trophies. Let, let me tell you guys, I fight many years for one. <laughs> oh my god. I fight, I fight and train and work hard for one trophy. <laughs> I was working and fighting many years <laughs> for this That's topic. Arnold Classic. This is a heavy and he's he did the heaviest shows. Which um which trophy uh, are you most proud of? Most excited? I think there's eight is uh, <laughs> the the most important part of yeah. this room and then uh, it's hard to remember all these trophies, <laughs> but uh, for sure, world strongest man. I have a lot of different editions. Yeah. It was plastic, <laughs> silver. Yeah. This is, is yeah. from plastic. Uh -huh. Then was uh, like this. These three trophies, and the last one is looks best. Yeah, that is nice. A few trophies I have in uh, the. Museum, oh, yeah. the town where I was born in Birgit, so. And this is close to Latvia, right? Is all yeah, it? it's in Borda. If you could have a, a team of five strong men right now, and you're the, you're the coach, so the manager, oh, who would oh. it be? The Brian Shaw, Haftor Bjornsson, uh, Mateusz Kieliszkowski, Martins, I'm on the list. And uh, Alexei Novikov. Interesting. I'm, I'm, I'm interested. You, uh, how do you choose, like, uh, not Tom Stoltman? Uh, because it's only five. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he was the next. Uh, yeah. But uh, it's so many guys yeah. at this moment. And uh, strong guys, yeah. Somebody will be out of this 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 fight. Yeah. So if I can 
till the next five, <laughs> then it'll be Tom Stoltman, Luke Stoltman, and Konstantin uh, Janasha, and uh, Harper. Oh, yeah. New guy. Yeah. <laughs> so he needs the coaching. <laughs> yeah, he needs coaching, yes. <laughs> and uh, who else? And Jeff Corwin. Yeah. My summer gym for exercise at home when I uh, lazy go to the gym. Because gym is very far. I need to drive 10 minutes to the gym. Yeah. And this is just walk <laughs> to the yard and you can train. <laughs> this is my garage where some strong men equipment and them. Um, lot of things which I can, can use all the time, so it's more like warehouse now. Yeah. Not the garage, not car inside. <laughs> yeah. The small one is sauna house, and this is a guest house. Nice. Uh, four bedroom and uh, next four week. bedrooms? Yeah, four bedroom. And next week I will have training camp. Oh, Five nice. guys yeah. coming from Belgium, and we train 10 days. In, in my yard. That's awesome. Yeah. That's like my dream. To have a, tr a place with a training camp. Yeah, I do one a year. So last last year I did. Yeah. And the same guys coming back. Okay. Last year was three guys. This year five guys coming back. Perfect. How does one sign up for your training camp? Uh, it's very easy. Write me to the uh, Instagram. And I put in waiting list. It's very limited edition because I, I am busy. I don't have time. I can do one, two training camps a year. So just try it and then send deposit and, and you will be the next for next year. We're going on the legendary boat ride on the lake that's basically Big Z's backyard. It's one of 10 biggest lakes in this area. So it's not the biggest, but it's pretty, pretty big. And a lot of small, you know, the, you, somewhere you go in, and small place also with water. Uh, this is very good. Ride a boat, yeah. do some fishing, and just swim, or sometimes go the evening where nice, weather and and look the sun is going down oh, that's perfect. So very nice colors yeah. is strongman uh, growing uh, it was very popular since beginning like 32 years already strongman sport yeah. and from beginning it was so popular and big yeah. the level is not high but it was very popular yeah. Even there, it's just town, strongest man. Three, four thousand people come to watch wow, this. That's nice. And then uh, was growing level also. Yeah. And I I start strongman sport. Uh, many good guys from Lithuania, and sport was growing stronger. We won. Uh, titles in Europe and world, yeah. but the popularity of sport was a little bit going down yeah. because 30 years ago, after Soviet Union was broken, yeah. it was not a lot of uh, things to watch and strongman was something new. Oh, yeah. And it was some competitions where 10,000 people coming and watch. Wow. At that time, it was biggest show in all world. Wow, in Lithuania? Yes, like 20 years ago. 20 years ago. But now we have much uh, smaller competition, oh. but we always on TV. Yeah. So all year is a competition. Every Sunday in Lithuania is strongman competition on TV. With our stomachs full of Lithuanian fuel, we got our training on. It was a simple birthday training session. Squats and yoke carry.
Ну, Рейнбоу. In my gym, I have this powerlifting rack. Yeah. So then I do wider. But for strongman competition, where we use this big bar, it's even closer. So hmm. need to. I used to have no problem with this position. Yep. Now I got arthritis in my shoulder. Smooth. We had competition in Lithuania, which was my first competition I competed. The toughest Lithuanian strongest man. Uh, three events. One hand farmer's work for yeah. distance. One Six, hand? Yeah, between legs like this. Oh, my <laughs> like, gosh. Like oh, duck walk, walk. <laughs> one in. hand, oh, and then no. uh, 120 kilogram sack, yeah, for max distance, and then 200 kilograms or 250 big sack yeah. pulling. Whoa. And I got second place in the, this pulling yeah. sack, I did uh, 250 meters. Oh, so it's until you stop. Yeah, it was totally out, you know, yeah. walk, walk, and <laughs> then you can't walk what, anymore. So the rule is once you stop, yeah, it's, it's over. out. So you have to. You can stop five seconds one time. One time, okay. So all, or, you know, and turn, so you yeah. can stop. It's oh, very gosh. tough. Oh, this is horrible. <sighs> 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 Okay, I survived. <laughs> Empty is 120. I need to be, need to be careful putting it down. Because this breaks. <laughs> yeah. Come on, buddy. Smooth. Perfect. Yeah, notice. Okay. You have plenty of room for weight here. You, why do you need this? Because uh, this yoke was made to train for Arnold Classic. Oh. And my heaviest yoke ever I done is 750 kilograms with this one. Holy shit. It was full. That is so <laughs> heavy. 750 kilos, guys, that's... Um, uh, that's uh, not, <laughs> not 20 meters. 
<laughs> One little four meters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is so heavy. I'm going to get the mass. <laughs> Smooth run. Here you go, nice and smooth, buddy. All the way. Come on. There we have Woo. it. Training day complete, or at least the heavy part. Nicely done, buddy. Oh, good day. Yeah. After the, yesterday, their lift is good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you and I both. I've uh, served my duty. <laughs> Should we sing happy birthday? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear BZ. Happy birthday to you. Thanks. <laughs> Many more log presses to go. With training done, it would be a travesty to not enjoy the lake some more. And of course, get some paddle boarding in, cool down, and enjoy the clouds pass by. Back to Latvia, to where the seed for my ambitions in the sport began. To my father's side of the family, to the family farm that's been in our blood for hundreds of years. It is here where my late grandfather, Imans Lietzis, mastered stonecraft. Even through times that the land was taken by the Soviets to be turned into communal farming, even when artistic expression of this kind was outlawed, he continued his stonework and sculptures gained the respect of the state and was commissioned for work by officials. Want to try it? Yes, I do. <laughs> but uh, I don't know what I would do with it. If you can't lift a bale, then try with this one. <laughs> you need to give me uh, instructions. Yeah, of course I will. <laughs> Come on. Uh, okay. Try one of those. In, in the field. Oh, not this one. Not this one. Okay. Anyone? Yeah, anyone. Okay, I got my sights set for that one straight ahead. This? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. A bit more, 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 more. Steady, steady, yeah? Yeah. Okay. And now press it as much as possible. That? Yeah. More? More. More steady. That's good. Raise. I don't want to squeeze it too much, don't yeah. want to pop it. This way now. Uh. Yeah, like that? Yep. I'm good to go? Yep. Release. Good job. My cows <laughs> won't be starring next winter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready for the work. Sure. <laughs> Sweet. Now you learned dinner for you. I dinner. N n next competition. I'm going to bring a tractor along. So in the summer months when I come visit, uh, oftentimes in the house we'd watch, so, well, Strongman basically came on TV and that it was here on this farm that I first saw a Strongman competition broadcast on the TV and I got inspired because these guys were lifting rocks, like all these rocks that you could see here. 
And I, I remember just having this thought, like, I want to do that. I think I can. When I was a kid, this tree didn't exist. So this is all new. This is just purely just rock field here with no growth. This basement in here, okay, this is an interesting story. So this basement was full, like when they were first building this cabin, it was full of dirt and sand and I had to dig it out. So that way we would have room in there, of course, for a basement. And I took all that sand with wheelbarrow and I dumped it over here on this little pile, which is now like just an aesthetic pile with the flowers and rocks on it. <sighs> First thing with a rock, of course, is to shimmy it about. You know, take your time with it. If you've never lifted a rock, you gotta f look at all the different crevices that are ideal for placing your hands and fingers. Try to get a few picks of it, feel the weight of it in my hands, and then after a few sets, lift it up fully. There we go. Now, I know it's possible now. Take a full on rest and come back to it. What do you use for tacky back in the mud? No, there was no tacky, no equipment. Nothing. Just come out here and start lifting rocks. And I think that's also partly why I'm such a good stone lifter because I don't rely completely on the tacky. Even in World's Strongest Man, that one that just happened, I put on the wrong tacky and it basically became like oil. All the stones were slipping out of my hands, but because I had this training through all the years of lifting without tacky, in my childhood I was just lifting with nothing, uh, it doesn't phase me too much when the tacky doesn't work and I could still get the job done. Of course, tacky is better. Whew. That's a big boy. Oh, I'm not gonna lie. They, they make rocks are different. <laughs> It's all right with me, man. <laughs> Woo! <sighs> you know, I've done a lot of stillness. That's a top 10 difficulty stillness. <laughs> in Latvian we have a word called uh, it goes zinkarix which means curious all these cows are very curious they like to come up to me sniff me, lick me some kind of strange creature roaming their land <coughs> That's how it's done, folks. Tractor beats man today. My heart's broken leaving this place. As with the first video of the Baltics, I mentioned that change in this stunning place is becoming more apparent. Will the Baltics always stay this green? Will they always create strength and inspire? There's no way to tell where these small countries are heading. But just as with Raimon standing on the podium representing my small home country, and our neighbor Big Z going down as the greatest of all time, and the beauty and strength of character seen from my family in the countryside, 
I can say I confidently believe that the torch will be passed on. The old generations push the newer ones, and the story of strength here isn't over. With that comes a close to this portion of our journey. This place, with all of its incredible people, traditions, natural charm, and strength, will always remain a cornerstone of the strength that's carried me through my career. Coming up next, we travel to Norway to witness Highland Games in the Feyfor Strength Festival and then pay a visit with the indomitable Old Haugen and his childhood home in Trondheim. Thank you so much for watching, make sure to like and subscribe, and help support us by downloading the Wreck-It Power app from the Google Play or Apple Store.